Hello to all of my peeps. It's so good to see you here today from my chair, episode 124. Uh, I often show you one of my plants, okay? Uh, but today I've got to show you something uh, really, really cool that uh, one of my peeps gave me. Check it out. It says, hanging with my peeps. I love it. I'm so excited uh, about it. It's, it reminded me of, uh, you know, I guess it's Lucy and Charlie Brown, and she opens up her little thing and sets her, her thing on there. I'm just hanging with my peeps. I love it. Such a thoughtful display of love, and uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I have some more things. I didn't even think about doing this because I show you my plants every once in a while. Uh, and uh, But I'll show you in the next couple of weeks here, another cool treasure uh, that some of my peeps have sent me. But yes, I love that. Hanging with my peeps, I love it, thank you. Uh, speaking of the next episode, uh, next week is Thanksgiving, and uh, I'm gonna skip posting an episode uh, for next week. Um, take time to be with your family, I'm gonna take time to be with mine, and uh, we'll pick it back up the following week uh, be November 30 will be episode 125. Quick story I gotta tell you. Gotta tell you a quick story. Last week I had uh, such a good time visiting uh, my dear friends in Adrian, Michigan. Um, while I was there I had the uh, amazing opportunity to attend the Berean Baptist Church there in Adrian. Uh, let me tell you, those are some of those precious people uh, uh, that you'll ever meet. Uh, they just love the Lord and uh, they love serving Him. It's very, very obvious. Uh, well, I was sitting in the lobby uh, of the Berean Baptist Church downstairs, and uh, Berean's precious, uh, spunky, beautiful pastor's wife walked right up to me and uh, looked me dead in my eyeballs like she's known me for a lifetime. Again, I never met her before in my life. I've heard of her, been praying for her, but she looked at me in my eyes like she's known me forever, and, uh, and she said, I've been studying you. And I was like, oh, I started laughing. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Okay, then. Uh, you have. She said, yes. And you're wearing lipstick. I just started laughing. I'm like, oh, my goodness. She's like, you don't wear lipstick on your chair episodes. I'm like, no, I don't. Okay, Miss Rogers, here you go. I wore my lipstick today. I put it on, and I'm going to put some more on just for you. Uh, I've got my lipstick on. Oh, that was precious. I just laughed and laughed. Had such a great time with that. Uh, so for you, Miss Rogers, my lipstick is on, and, uh, and just, just for you, because I love you. Uh, such a precious pastor's wife. Um, it would please me well um, if you would put, add her to your prayer list. Um, for two years, uh, she's had no voice. Um, I, 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 I'm just, it blows my mind. Um, she speaks in a whisper. And join me in praying uh, for her, that if the Lord wills, that he will give her her voice back and be able to speak clearly again to heal her. Uh, if you would, join me in prayer for her. Now, grab your Bibles. You ready? Let's jump in. Song of Solomon, chapter number one. Open it up. Uh, I trust that you have felt his kisses of peace. Uh, as we looked at in Song of Solomon chapter 1, uh, verse number 2, I pray that you have felt that in your uh, from your beloved bridegroom this week. And did you do your homework? I did my homework. Thy love is better than. Thy love is better than. Did you write five things down and, uh, and say, Thy love is better than, and you filled it out. Uh, and the, uh, uh, the five luxuries, the deepest joys, uh, the pinnacle of delights, did you do your homework? If you haven't, go back, get it done. Thy love is better than, because his love for you is better than the pinnacle and the, the highest, the deepest joys that you could ever uh, uh, face on this earth and experience on this earth. Now for today. You ready? Song of Solomon chapter 1, verse number 3. Yes, I have some visual illustrations, uh, and uh, we're going to talk about it today. I'm so excited. All right, Song of Solomon chapter 1, verse number 3. going to need to mark a couple things, if you would. It says this, because, oh, wait, 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 the bride is talking. She is talking to the bridegroom and to her bridegroom, to her to her man, okay, to Solomon and to us. We chose it to look at as the bride, us, talking to our bridegroom, God. She says this, Because of the savor of thy good ointments, thy name is as ointment poured forth, therefore do the virgins love thee, okay, um, how many people, i got a question to ask you, how many people in your life call you by your name? 
all right? Mark that little phrase, thy name, thy name. How many people in your life actually call you by your name? Just your name, not a nickname, not a, a name of endearment. Uh, a lot of husbands and wives have, have names of endearment, uh, nicknames and things like that. Not Mizra's, not uh, a brother, not sister, not a, a, a pastor, mister. Now, I mean, I'm talking about just your name. Let's do a little communication experiment, okay? Just humor me, and I think you're going to be interested to find this out. For the next 10 days, pay attention to and listen for when someone uses your name as they speak to you. Now, I know, if you're a teenager or a child, you know, they start calling you by the name, why in the world did you do it? They fuss at you, say your first, your middle, and your last name. That's how you know you're in trouble. Now, I'm just talking about a normal, uh, usual conversation and communication. Um, just regular. Uh, not a sales call. Not a, an, an automated a warranty call. Uh, can I speak to? And then they call your name. That's not what I'm talking. Not automated. I'm just talking about when in a normal conversation, how many people call you by your name. Pay close attention to that. Uh, I did it. I did it. I took 10 days and uh, I did the experiment myself first. Uh, I noticed three very interesting things. Hold on to these things. Number one, the number was very low. The number of people that called me by name was very low. Number two, the ones who did use my name were very close to me. Just again, in normal conversation, not a fun, not an automated call or a salesperson, normal conversation. Uh, they were very close to me. Number three, when one of those few called my name, watch, it brought a very specific delight and a pleasure to my inner core. Especially if they were words of love or gratitude or encouragement. When they called my name, there was a specific uh, 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 a delight and pleasure in someone using my name. Here in Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse number 3, the bride hands us a very sweet word picture as she describes the name of her bridegroom. Let me define a couple words for us in the Hebrew. Uh, the Old Testament is Hebrew. The New Testament is Greek. Can I define a couple words for us? The word savor. It says, because of the savor of thy good ointments. The Hebrew word means a scent as if blown. In other words, to breathe or smell a fragrance. Okay. Um, the word ointment. It is a perfumed liquid as from an olive or the olive. Uh, a perfumed liquid. Watch this. Let's put this stuff together. The bride looks at her bridegroom and tells him, <laughs> your name smells so good to me. Your name smells so good to me. The fragrance of your name makes me love you. Now look, you're like, what? No, no, no. Okay, so let's mark some stuff. Uh, don't miss these very important words. Take your Bible and take a, a marker or something or a pencil and, and underline the word because. Then underline the word therefore and then underline the word love. So because of the savor of thy good name, uh, of, thy, of thy good ointments, thy name is as ointment poured forth. Therefore, so because of this name, therefore, I love you. Uh, the fragrance, she's telling him, the fragrance of your name makes me love you. I love it how Matthew Henry put it, a commentator I was reading. Matthew Henry, listen to the quote, and I do quote. The unfolding of Christ's name is as the opening of a box of precious ointment, which the room is filled with the odor of. Let me tell you a bit about my granny. My granny. I have a whole lot of memories with my granny. Uh, me and my sis, we would walk from our house, and we would walk uh, through a, a few backyards to get to granny's house. No time. We was there in no time. In fact, I could hear Pawpaw's uh, Honda shadow when he would crank it up, motorcycle, he'd crank it up in the garage, blah, 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 blah. And I'd be like, I got to get to Pawpaw's house, Pawpaw and granny's house, because I want to ride the motorcycle with him and go to the Honda shop. That's how close they were. And uh, uh, Granny was one of those who pinched your cheeks. You have a Granny like that? She pinched your cheeks and she called you precious. Oh, precious. And even the grand boys, their name was precious also. I know, they're like, oh, but that, she did. Pinched those cheeks and called you precious. 
Um, from my earliest memories of Granny, especially when she prayed, Granny would whisper the name of Jesus all the time. When she sat down in her easy chair, not a recliner, wasn't a recliner, it was an easy chair, one of those big easy chairs, because she wanted to prop her feet up on the on the footstool. Uh, don't don't co climb over my footstool. She needed her footstool. When she would sit down, she would speak his name. Uh, when she'd get up from her chair, she would speak his name. When she was at the stove boiling cabbage, oh my goodness, it made me want to throw up. Oh my goodness, the smell of it just, it, 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 it has affected me, I'm just telling you. Uh, but she would speak his name. She would say things like, thank you, Jesus. That's usually what she'd say. Thank you, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. She would speak his name. And when someone prayed, she'd whisper, yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Precious Jesus. His name, watch, his name filled the room with a fragrance that you could breathe in and feel in your core. Um, in fact, the last time I saw my granny on this earth, I mean, my sister went to visit her. Um, she was living in a beautiful mother-in-law suite that my precious aunt and uncle had built for her. Uh, she was sitting in her big, uh, comfy, easy chair. And before we left, she grabbed her hand. She loved to grab your hand. She likes to hold your hand. Um, paint your cheeks and hold your hand. She liked to do those. Before we left, she grabbed our hands. Mine and one, uh, mine, uh, and I was in her right hand and my sister was in her left. She grabbed her, her hands and she asked us to pray together. Me and my sister, we got down on our knees uh, at our chair, and as we prayed, it was so sweet, it was so sweet, lots of tears, uh, lots of tears, because we knew this possibly could be the last time we would see her. Um, she called out his name. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Precious Jesus. We could smell the fragrance of his name being diffused throughout her room. I love it to hand you a, a visual illustration of Song of Solomon 1-3. The name of Jesus is to be like a, watch, a fragrant oil dipped into the water of a diffuser and then turned on so as to fill the room with a fragrance that brings pleasure and delight to all who enter in and breathe. I've got lemongrass in this one. This one I just put in some peppermint. That's the, the way the name of Jesus is supposed to be. I'll say it again. It's supposed to be like a fragrant oil. This is an essential oil, it's peppermint. Uh, it, it's to be like a fragrant oil dripped into the water of a diffuser and then turned on so as to fill the room with a fragrance that brings pleasure and delight to all who enter in and breathe. Thy name is as ointment poured forth. It's, it's breathing in and having such delight in the name of Jesus. Ask you a question, how precious is the name of Jesus to you today? Uh, do you even speak his name? Oh, no, 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 that's just weird. No, it's not weird. It, it's precious. Speak his name. Um, all those years listening to my granny speak his name aloud uh, and diffuse his name in every place she went, it helped me to have the freedom and the boldness to do the same. Diffuse his name everywhere you go. Look, I'm just, I'm here to tell you, the world will diffuse his name through cursing. You hear me? You go to, you go to stores, you go to restaurants, you hear his name being called uh, some ugly things. It's like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that to my God. Don't do that to my Jesus' name. Well, do you diffuse the preciousness of his name? Do you speak it? The world is very quick. Satan is very good at, uh, at having people distort the name of Jesus and distort the name of God and use it in slang, in secondhand cursing and things. No, no, no. His name is too precious for that. 
Watch what you say and how you say it. Diffuse his precious name everywhere you go. Let the fragrance of his name fill every room that you enter into. Something I love about this, uh, just as, look, check this out, just as there are many, many different fragrances. Uh, these are just a few. I've got so many of these things. Uh, and there are so many different fragrances and combinations of fragrances available for me to diffuse. Jesus has lots of names for you to choose from. Uh, follow me here. If you choose to diffuse specific oils, excuse me, you do choose to diffuse specific oils for specific reasons, right? If you diffuse essential oils, which you should, it's, it's wonderful, wonderful health benefit. Uh, when I'm stressed, frankincense. I'm going to diffuse frankincense and uh, to help with the stress. If the sleeping and the calming, I'm going to diffuse lavender. Uh, if I need to breathe better, I'm going to diffuse eucalyptus. I'm going to put some eucalyptus in my diffuser and let it fill my bedroom. And I'll, uh, when I'm, especially when I'm not feeling good and I need to breathe well, I'll diffuse eucalyptus and let it fill my room and I can breathe it in through the night. If you need to disinfect something, orange and lemongrass are beautiful, wonderful disinfectants. Um, but you choose. You choose uh, these specific oils for the specific reason that you need them. So let me ask you a question. <laughs> what specific name do you need to diffuse today? Um, there's a plethora of them. Take your Bible, one of my favorites, absolute favorites, um, Isaiah chapter number 9. Take your Bible, Isaiah chapter 9. Let's look at verse number 6. Verse number 6. It says this, I love this. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called. You ready? Wonderful. I was listening to a preacher the other day, and he's like, you ever wonder what, what Jesus' first name is? It's wonderful. Uh, and his name shall be called Wonderful. His name is Wonderful. His name is Counselor, Wonderful Counselor. Do you need some counsel today? His name is Counselor. Diffuse His name, Counselor. Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God. Do you need Him to be mighty for you today? He's mighty. He is the Mighty God. That's His name. Uh, the Everlasting Father. Do you need the closeness of a Father? That's His name. Diffuse it. Use it. Choose that name. The Prince of Peace. I don't know anybody in this world who doesn't need a dose of peace diffuse his peace, the Prince of Peace. That's his name. Do you need him to be that? How about Matthew 1, 21 and 25? Call his name Jesus. Jesus. Say his name. Speak his name. In 1 John chapter 2, verse number 1, uh, he, he is an advocate with the Father. Oh my goodness. Do you need an advocate? That's his name. Call his name. Isaiah 42, 8. I am the Lord. That is my name. Look it up. I am the Lord. In Matthew 1, 23, he, I love this one. He is Emmanuel, meaning God with us. He's with you. In John chapter 14, verse 26, the Comforter. So well, that's the Holy Spirit. I know it's three in one, the triune God. The Holy Spirit is our Comforter. Romans 8, 26, the Holy Spirit is my intercessor. He intercedes for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Acts 22, 14, he's called the just one. Uh, I love this one, Psalm 83, 18. He is in all caps, Jehovah, Jehovah God, that self-existent one true God. Jeremiah 23, 6, all caps. Oh, there are not many times in the Bible where something's all caps, all caps. Look it up. Jeremiah 23, 6, the Lord, our righteousness there is no spot in our Lord. He did not sin. The Lord, our righteousness. He became sin for us who knew no sin. He is our righteousness. And then I love this. Take your Bible. You've got to look at this. Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2. And you're like, okay, his name, his name, his name. Big deal. Are you ready? Oh, mercy sakes, it's a big deal. Philippians chapter 2, verse number 9. You need to mark these. Watch, especially when you get aggravated at, at people, at governments, at things that happen that you just, 
you just want to do something about. You're like, why is this world so wicked? Uh, how in the world, God, you've got to do something. These people are so wicked. Why would they do that? Here's some consolation. Here's some consolation. You ready? Uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse number 9. Wherefore, God also hath highly exalted him. Stop. The him, if you'll read the verses in front of it, it's Jesus Jesus Christ, the one who died on the cross for uh, our sins and rose again the third day, Jesus Christ. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Watch that at the name of Jesus. No, wait, wait, just the name. The name of Jesus. Watch what's going to happen. Every, circle the word every, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. That pretty much covers everybody, right? Okay. Verse 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So how powerful is His name? Okay. How powerful is it? Every single knee is going to bow and every tongue's going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Watch His name. Just His name. Every knee's going to bow. His name is very, very powerful. Let's use it. Let's diffuse it. Who do you need for your Lord Jesus to be to you today? I love Song of Solomon 1.3. Let's take something from it. Because of the Savior. Ah. <sighs> Because of the savor of thy good ointments, thy name is as ointment poured forth. Therefore, do the virgins love thee. Let me encourage you. Speak his precious name. Diffuse the fragrance of his name. Let every room that you walk into today be filled with the great love that you have for your Lord Jesus. I'd like to encourage you to do a really cool thing. I've been giving you some homework. Okay, um, Can I encourage you to do something? It's something I started when I was walking through a season of, of depression and anxiety and grief. And uh, it was the catalyst that helped pull me out of those spaces. I took a notebook. This is, this is the notebook right here. I took a notebook and uh, I, I took the first page and I put uh, the letters of the alphabet on the top of every page. I did A, turn the page, B, turn the page, C. Uh, and underneath those letters, I wrote down every name of God, every name of Jesus, every name of the Holy Spirit, including their attributes, descriptive words that I could think of. Uh, and and I, I even added to it uh, this morning as I was studying. I found one. I'm like, oh, that's not in my book. I take my book <laughs> and I paste the floor. I open it up and I paste the floor. Oh, goodness. It brings back lots of memories for me. Uh, I take my book and I pace the floor and uh, I call out these names. God, thank you for being almighty. You're the ancient of days. You're Alpha. You're Adonai. You're the Amen. You're my Abba. You're my dad. You're my dada. You're my Abba Father. And I'll just walk and pace the room, pace the floor, calling out the names of of God, the names of Jesus, the names of the Holy Spirit, diffusing His name in praise and in gratitude. Try it. <laughs> Try it. Yeah, Z's kind of hard. I've only come up with one Z. Uh, zealous. Zeal. My zealous God. He's zealous for me. Um, His fragrance. Watch. His fragrance will fill your room and it's going to flood your heart. Um, it changes things. Speaking the name of Jesus, savoring His name, breathing in His name, speaking it, it changes you from the inside out. Don't forget, no episode next week. We'll pick it back up on the 30th. And uh, don't forget Lydia at 11 in her journey to remain cancer-free. Now go be amazing today.